Ah, uh, yes. Excellent. Fantastic. <laughs> I haven't heard this much excitement in a long time. <clears throat> Very well, then. I shall present you with one hundred million dollars. And here, for the fanfare, is the Michael Reynolds Orchestra. I'm a man of my word. Here, I present you one hundred million dollars. All right, tonight. Hope to see you again someday. Congratulations. Good luck. Bye bye. The end. No, not really the end. Like I said, there are other endings to see. But as you can imagine, that ending is quite disappointing when you don't know that there are any other endings. As when I first beat the game, I thought that was it. I thought we were done. It was over. And I was quite confused as to what just happened, why I did not actually get to see Michael Reynolds. Uh, it just ended just like that. I had to read in a, a fact sometime later how to get the true ending, as I was not even aware that there was a true ending. And that just blew my mind when I found out that there was a completely different ending with a completely different last boss. But of course, that will be the absolute final thing we'll be seeing in this Let's Play of Illbleed. There are some other things to see first. There are the other two last bosses. There are There's the bad ending, which we'll be seeing. And there will be a very special video featuring a replay of Killer Man. Now, why am I replaying Killer Man? Because I'm going to re be replaying Killer Man as Brainless Randy. And the reason I'm doing this is because, as you may have noticed, the protagonist had a lot of dialogue in Killer Man. Well, each character has their own voice actor. So the lines change a bit depending on who you're using for Killer Man. Brainless Randy, as you, as you may remember, didn't really speak much. Rather, he just yelled and garbled. So what happens when we play through Killer Man as Brainless Randy? We'll be seeing this, and it is quite possibly the best thing in the entire game. But we'll be seeing that, and then finally, the last thing we do is we'll be doing another run of the game. And this run will be a true ending run where we finally see... The true ending, we finally get to the bottom of what is going on in Illbleed. And look, there's someone in the voice staff named Jorg. I wonder who he voiced. I think he voiced Kevin.
How are we gonna spend a million bucks? I bought 385 different kinds of Freddy dolls, and I still have a lot left. I invested in the stock market. You really trust the stock market? I don't know. I think so. Erico, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Never mind. She's probably in one of her philosophical moods. Hey, Erico, are you thinking of your secret love or something? Maybe it's me. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind that at all. I'm going back to real bleed. What? 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 If she goes, I go! Thanks, Randy. But this time, I have to go alone. Why? What's going on? Kevin, butt out! She doesn't need a guy right now, okay? Wait for me, guys. If I make it back, I'll probably be a changed girl. We'll be right here, waiting and praying. I'm sure you'll make it through, but be careful. And don't change too much. If you get into trouble, try and telepathically communicate with me, okay? I can be at your side in no time. Right. Thanks a lot, guys. I love you all. So, that is the good ending. Eriko has rescued all of her friends, and they have escaped Illbleed with the $100 million prize, after which they retire to a tropical island, and they live like kings. Though Eriko is not satisfied with what happened at Illbleed, and she, for some reason, has decided to go back. This is the lead-in for the true ending run, which you can only get by playing the game a second time, and playing it a different way than how we played it the first time. But like I said, before we do that, we are going to see the bad ending first. We are going to see the other two optional bosses that we could have picked. And we are going to be seeing Brainless Randy starring in Killer Man. As well as seeing a particularly worthless minigame that you can also play in Illbleed that was popped in as a little Easter egg by the developers, I suppose. But yes, that was the first run of Illbleed. And if you thought at the beginning of the game that what we were seeing was going to eventually make some kind of sense, then I guess the joke's on you. Because, as we can see, that never actually happened. In fact, it just got more and more and more confusing as time went on. So, we're going to save our game for the new game plus when we get the true ending. And next time on Let's Play Illbleed, it's time for the other two last bosses and the bad ending. I'll see you then.